Welcome back to Get Well Soon, the red pill content of Willie F, a.k.a. Moriarty. I'm here today to go off on a tangent, but hopefully not go off too far. Look, I was peeping something the other day and it really just alarmed me. It, 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 I wouldn't even say it was an epiphany because I, I really knew this already, but... I'm able to put it into words now, so 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 bear with me. Look, women, females, don't actually have maternal instincts like we think they do. I truthfully believe maternal, the maternal nature that they give off is really a conditioning, a socialization, so to speak. And it's kind of forced upon them. I do believe that a lot of women out there want to be caregivers. They want to be mothers. And when I say a lot, I mean enough to where I can say at least maybe 50, 50, you know, at at the minimum. I, I don't believe a majority of the women you come across have this ability to just click their maternalism on. I truthfully believe, once again, that this mindset and this personality is forced on them. I believe when a woman is worrying, I believe she's just virtue signaling. I don't really believe women have the ability to be concerned with anybody outside of themselves. And honestly, human beings in the first world are just naturally selfish, but I do believe that women tend to be more selfish these days than ever. I can't think of a period of time where women actually are instinctively laying their lives on the line for beings that aren't attached to them in any way. Like, you get women that are like, oh, I'll do anything for my son. I'll do anything for my daughter, my family, blah, blah, blah. But that's really as far as it goes. Like, you're not ever going to see a woman lay her life on the line. And I say, when I say, when I say you're not going to see it, I mean, you're not going to see a majority of women in your country lay their lives on the line to make sure that men survive. And when these men are not related to them or these men are not providing them anything. And if you're trying to figure out where I'm going, I was talking about maternal instincts before. And the reason I say the reason I say all this is because the only reason a woman gives a damn about her son is because they birthed that son. They give a damn about their daughter because they birthed that daughter. But if you pay attention, a lot of women and their daughters don't get along all that much. Like... One of the relationships I've seen, one of the dynamics I've seen growing up throughout my life is women, the mothers and daughters that do not get along. Like I've seen that a whole lot. And like it's almost spiteful, just like this influx of women trying to look younger than their daughters or trying to compete with their daughters. I know you've heard those stories before. Like this is stuff that fathers don't do. Fathers don't compete with their sons. So I say all this to say that when you really think about the nature of both genders, it feels like men are more naturally inclined to be selfless and lay their lives on the line for people that aren't related to them. People that don't bring any value to their lives. That's almost, that's what men are expected to do. Men are conditioned to be protectors and providers. And men are, even when it comes to the tribe, men are the ones that are willing to die for the tribe. Like, people talk about how how men like to make movies with this whole hero, superhero complex. But, like, that's, like, wild because that's the fantasy of a man to just want to be the protector of the world. Want to, a lot of men want to be the good guy, you know, but when you rape, get red peel, eventually you don't mind being the anti-hero. You don't mind being the bad guy. You don't mind being the guy that gets to blame because once again, 
it's a socialization type of thing. Like men just become that. Like that's what we are. Like it's either we're that or we become invisible and nobody gives a damn about us. There are so many men walking around on this earth right now that nobody's paying attention to. So when shit finally hits the fan, everybody's running to find his manifesto to see where it all went wrong. It all went wrong because nobody was paying attention to him. Not even his own mother. Not even these loving and caring women that are around him. You see what I mean? Like, to bring it back to the point, if the women around you just had this natural maternal vibe that they gave off, this natural maternal energy, the world would really be full of caring, loving, and kind women. Because when you think about a woman's ability to to be a, the what they the characteristics of a good mother you think about loving caring kind giving you know like you you think about those things can you really think about those things can you really attach those things to the modern woman like <laughs> you have an abundance of women running around talking about how they're pro-choice. They're they're going crazy because this new Supreme Court justice is is anti-abortion. And and I think that's one of the things that just set off to me how, believe it or not, once again, it's it's probably a 50-50 thing, but there are enough women on this in this in this country, in America, reference in America, there are enough women in this country that wave the the pro-choice flag to the point of how can so many women that are perceived as sugar and spice and everything nice be so willing to kill a seed for the for their own convenience and when i say that because i'm gonna tell you right now as a man i i don't mind if a person says they're pro-choice uh i don't mind if a person says they're you know, they're, um, they're pro-life. Like I-, I can understand where those two things intertwine, but the thing about pro-choice thing, the thing about pro-choice with me is, and this is where I'm going to conclude. I don't believe modern women are pro-choice just as much as I don't believe modern women are in naturally, they have natural maternal instincts. Like I don't believe m- most women have what it takes to be moms. I do believe that almost all women want control. I don't believe that women are pro-choice. I think that they're pro-control because when the shit hits the fan, if a person is truly pro-choice, then that means that if you're pro-choice, if the the female is pro-choice and the male is pro-life, then is the is the whose whose matter whose choice matters more <laughs> you know like if you're truly pro choice then you're for the compromise of the choices that are on the table or you're for the you're for the open mindedness of the 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 choices that are on the table but inevitably pro choice means that the choice is mine and the choice is most likely death. So once again, I really think that it's more pro death, pro control, pro me, me, me. Because once again, I do believe that most women, when given the option of pro choice and pro life in modern times, will take the option of pro choice, which I believe is pro control. Because Once again, we live in a world where the mindset is my body, my choice, which is also debatable. But anyways, I'm just going to say it again. I don't think that women have maternal instincts. I believe maternal instincts is a, 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 a virtue that is given to women by default and it should not be. But I do believe that Women are very controlling. Women are very power hungry. Women seek to have all authority. I put a video up months ago that talks about female supremacy. And I truthfully believe that 
90% of the women that you come across in some form or another want to be the supreme individual. Like that's what they, that's what in all honesty, that's the overall goal. Even if you're talking to a traditional conservative woman, the household is hers to control. Like don't ever think because you have a trad con woman that you have a woman that, you know, is willing to truthfully submit to you how you think. Because when any woman gets into a marriage, every woman realizes the control that they have. That is the ultimate goal of modern women today. If they can't have control in society, at least they can have control in their home. And don't get it twisted. All women want the control in society. So when you're dealing with that with that chameleon that you think is a unicorn, just remember her overall goal is to control you. Like that's just that's just bottom line. There is a very, very small group of females out there that are okay with the 50-50 or they're okay with accepting the fact that, okay, this guy's the breadwinner and so on and so forth. But even then, she still wants control of the finances. Like think about your favorite celebrity couple. Even if the male is the breadwinner, the woman still wants that control in the household. Because once again, it's not about women being mothers and women being, you know, the, these beings that are loving, caring, and kind. Women are about control. Like, that's simply it. <laughs> Even if you come across a woman that's pro-life, if you come across a woman that's pro-life, She's basically just telling you your choice doesn't matter. Once again, meaning it's about my control. It's about me. It's about what I want. So, fellas, if you're listening, protect your seed. It's a tough, tough, tough world out here these days, especially dealing with a society that deems us as less than human if we're not attractive, if we're not financially successful if we're not in the in the top five percent protect your seed because these women do not give a damn about you when you come across most women everything that you're doing to pursue them in order to get their attention in order to get their quote-unquote love eventually all you're doing is submitting to them and giving over any type of power that you have so trust me when I say this, it's better to just be on your own. It's better to have control of your own world. Because I'm going to say it again, the minute you let a woman into your world, you have lost all control. All control. Women are master manipulators. Women are the queens of control. That's their genetic makeup at this point. Don't be an idiot. You have been warned. Anyways, enjoy your morning. Enjoy your afternoon. Enjoy your evening. Good night. And until we meet again.